today we're going to go through some insurance lingo, all this language that is oh so easy to understand on these complicated life insurance illustrations. The first thing we'll start with is this guy, right? This MEC, which stands for Modified Endowment Contract. Again, that's Modified Endowment Contract. So a huge benefit to all life insurance policies is that if you do everything right, structure it properly, all the growth, accessing all the money, is tax-free, right? It's a safe, tax-free area we can position our money and get to it at any time. We can completely ruin the plan if we trigger what's called a MEC. Any life insurance policy can become classified as a MEC. If it does, what happens is that one, the growth on the account is tax deferred. So that means the growth, we do not pay taxes on it as it accumulates in value. However, anytime we access it, what happens here is one, any of the gains only, so we can't deduct it, so our cost basis is not taxed, but the gains will be treated as ordinary income tax when we pull the money out. That's the first piece. The second piece is if we are under the age of 59 and a half, we've got that rule, right? Age 59 and a half, where we get hit with an additional 10% penalty tax. In short, we don't want a MEC. It ruins the entire uh, attractiveness of a cash value life insurance policy. We've got to deal with taxes. There's better things we can do with our money in that situation. So how do we prevent a MEC, right? That's the big thing there. So every policy has what's called a MEC limit, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a limit that determines the maximum amount of total money one can pay into a policy per year before we trigger a taxable event. What most are not aware of is we can actually set that limit at any dollar figure we want. Right? So if you want a $10 million MEC limit, you can have it. <laughs> How you do it is you're going to find that the MEC limit has a direct relationship to our age and total death benefit, total amount of life insurance on a policy. That, view it in this respect, it's really the measuring stick that these guys use to determine if a life insurance policy is still life insurance in their eyes or a pure taxable investment. We've got some other videos uh, that highlight how to manipulate, move that MEC limit up and down. Uh, we'll go through that more in the future, but more or less, when we design a policy, here's what we want to look at. However much we want the ability that's the key word. We might pay it in, we might not, but we say, hey, on a perfect, in a perfect world scenario, I want the ability to pay in $50,000 into a policy, whatever dollar amount that is. We want to make sure, really, that our MEC limit is set there. This way, if you're in year one, or you're in year 20, you say, hey, I came into a windfall. I got a bonus at work. I got something. I want to throw more money into my account. You can do it if our MEC limit was set at a, an appropriate dollar figure where we can get that extra money into the account. Hope this helps. More to come.